British productivity is back above its pre-crisis levels as British workers are at last making more in each hour than they were in 2007. Output per hour rose by 0.9 PC in the third quarter of the year, the Office for National Statistics said, the fastest quarterly increase since 2011. It also unwinds the falls seen in the previous two quarters, and was driven in large part by workers on average putting in fewer hours but increasing their output. The long period of slow growth is still a worry for economists, however, and one quarter of strong growth does not yet mean the poor trend is being reversed. Productivity figures are notoriously volatile. While the pickup in productivity in the third quarter was welcome, the longer-term trends remain subdued, particularly compared to our international competitors, said Soren Thiru, head of economics at the British Chambers of Commerce. The UK's productivity performance continues to be hampered by the deep-rooted problems in our economy, from skills shortages to creaking physical and digital infrastructure. This improvement in productivity is not yet showing up in the pay packets of workers. Average weekly earnings rose by 2-2 PC in the year to the third quarter, the ON said, in line with the weak average growth seen all year. By contrast inflation picked up to 3 PC over the 12 months to September, intensifying the squeeze on household finances. The number of people in work fell by 14,000 on the quarter, the ON said, in the first such drop since last autumn. Britain's employment rate fell from 75.1 PC to 75.0 PC, with the total number in work down from 32.07 M in the three months to June to 32.06 M. This is only a small dip, the number of workers is still close to a record high, and remains above the level seen at any point before June. After two years of almost uninterrupted growth, employment has declined slightly on the quarter, said senior on statistician Matt Hughes. However, it remains higher than it was this time last year, and as always we would caution people against reading too much into one quarter's data. Unemployment also fell on the quarter, but there was a rise in the number of people who were neither working nor looking for a job, so-called economically inactive people. Unemployment fell by 59,000 compared with the previous three-month period, dropping to 142 M, the lowest absolute number since 2005. That is down 181,000 on the year. As a proportion, the unemployment rate stayed at 43 PC, its lowest rate since 1975. Companies still appear keen to hire more workers. The ONS found 780,000 vacancies from August to October, a rise of 6,000 on the quarter. As unemployment and employment slipped, there was a rise in inactive people, those who are neither in work nor looking for work. This figure rose to 8.9 M, the highest level in seven months. Economist Alan Clark at Scotiabank is confident this trend will continue. He believes the unemployment level will fall to 4.2 PC in the October numbers to be published next month, and to 4.1 PC by the end of the year. The number of EU-born workers in the UK rose by 30,000 during the quarter to 2.4 M.